Okay, we need to look a little bit at the hand plane and how it works to be able to use it. So there's only a few parts and it's a very simple mechanism but uh, extremely effective. Now the few parts that we have of course we've got a handle for gripping and then one at the front also um, and then inside here is where it all happens. Apart from here which is the final result which is the sole of the hand plane and here's your blade showing through. But this is where it all starts. The parts that we've got is a capping lever and we should be able to pull that off with not too much effort. That means it's set uh, just right. Uh, so we pull that off with our thumb and it's just attached with this little screw here. This screw should not be over tightened. If you can't pull this capping uh, iron off uh, just by like that, then it is too tight and you just need to loosen that off. And you can do that even just by hand. You don't need to use a screwdriver because it's a very fine adjustment. So that's pretty good. So we'll take that off and it just slides up and we'll put that out of the way. Inside we have the blade and we also have this other piece of uh, material, uh, steel that's attached to it which is a backing iron. So we have the backing iron with this little curve here to create pressure down onto the blade and then on this side we have our blade with our beveled edge. The beveled edge of course goes to the outside and so does the capping iron that stays on the outside. So those two things come together. What we want to do is we want to open these two things up and we want to just clean out any loose material that's on the inside because timber does get stuck down in there. Uh, now the fantastic thing about a hand plane is it comes with its own screwdriver which is the capping iron. Oh and someone's over tightened that, shouldn't be that hard. So I'll put them down on the bench and I'll use my proper screwdriver. Loosened it up. Here we go. Okay, so we have just a small screw that's holding these two things together, and as you can see, it's got a small curve down the bottom uh, that you can pull that uh, blade off from the screw. You never take the screw right out. They're easy to lose and uh, you can just keep it attached there. There's no need to fully um, disassemble that. Just want to clean out any t loose material, check the blade, see that it's okay. This one's uh, looking pretty good. There's no chips and uh, it's a nice clean bevel and it looks pretty sharp. So that should be pretty good for the work we're doing today. So that's all checked. We just hold that in our hand and slide that iron uh, the blade back over the capping or the backing iron. Turn it over and what we're looking for is for it to be nice and square so even on the sides and then we just want this backing iron to be about three mil back from the tip of the blade. Okay so three mil. Okay, that looks pretty good. Keep it nice and tight in our hand. I'll just use my proper screwdriver here just to tighten that up. So it doesn't need to be over tightened. Okay, still looks pretty good. Not too bad. I want to check on the inside here. We have a bit going on in here. Probably it seems very antiquated and it's a very easy system. Um, that is used but it all works really well. We have a lever that comes through from the nut through the body. If I can get up a little closer there. So this lever goes all the way up through and you can see just here it finishes 
in a small lug right at the top and the blade has a little hole there which that lug goes into. We have a lever here which just works on a pressure plate so it's a really really simple system but it does work. This part in here is called the frog. Okay. Um, and what we want to look for is that it's, the angle is nice and smooth on the inside there and that it's not twisted. So we want, once again, for this all to be in very, very smoothly and nice and square. If it's not, you can undo these two screws and adjust it accordingly. This looks good, so I'm not going to touch it. I'm just going to leave it. But I've checked it, so I've done my job. So it can do it. It's okay. So what we do is we pop the blade back over the top. That screw will uh, stick out, and then we want to make sure those little lugs are connected. Now the way we do that is we put the blade side down into the, into the hand plane. Get those lugs connected. Once again, make sure our lever is nice and square, straight down. Put our capping iron back on. Now I've loosened that nut so this isn't going to push on, it's going to be loose. So I want to tighten that screw back up just a little bit and usually you can do it by hand, just a couple of turns and when we push this on we want to have a bit of pressure. I believe it's just going to the side there. Still loose, we need to Tighten that up. So we shouldn't tight, over tighten this so I can't actually push this closed. Okay. If I can't push that lever closed by hand, it's too tight. It doesn't need to be that tight. There's a tiny little piece of steel in there that's going to create a, another pressure point. As you can see. That's good. Now the way we move our blade in and out, or up and down, so it comes out the bottom here, is actually with this adjusting and if we do need to, the lateral adjustment with the pressure plate. So of course, we never run our finger across the blade. We always just strum it like a guitar to make sure of how much is coming, um, hanging out there. And we want as little as possible while you're starting off. So I'm gonna wind that blade right in. And just check that lateral. It's a, hanging a little bit out on one side and you can feel that with your fingers. It's a very fine adjustment. The better you get with a hand plane, the more blade you can have exposed. Okay, so that's pretty much set to do our job. We never put our hand plane straight down there because that blade's hanging out. It's going to cut and it's going to also get a little bit dull if we keep putting it down. So we always lay a hand plane down on the side.